Hi guys. So today I'm going to be showing you what is in my everyday face makeup. This is just the stuff that I have that I can choose from. I do not use all of this makeup every single day, but a girl likes to have options, let's just be honest. So I'm just going to start pulling out random products. No means is it in any order because well, let's just take a peek. Okay, hot mess. Hot mess. The first thing is the Smashbox Soft Lights. This is in Shimmer. I saw this on Jaclyn Hill. She absolutely raved about it, and so I asked for it for Christmas. It's just a nice highlight. I actually have it on today. Um, horrible lighting in this bathroom, um, but it's just it's a wonderful, wonderful color. And since I am oily, I don't like to use things that are too like shimmery, glittery. Um, I do want to try the Mary Luminizer, um, but everyone says you have to use a very, very light hand, so I'm kind of on the fence about it still. But the next thing is part of my mascara routine that I have been doing recently. Um, I actually have it on today. I absolutely love the way my, my, my eyelashes look. <laughs> This is the Clump Crusher Extensions. This is not the Clump Crusher, the original one. This is the new one that they came out with. It's got the pregnant looking brush. And I put this on after I put the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. I do two coats of this, and then I do a coat of this. And this is how my eyelashes have turned out the last couple of days, the last week or so. Uh, I absolutely love how this looks together, and it's very inexpensive. It's a lot cheaper than, I mean, I love the Rocket by itself, and I love this by itself, but together, I just think it's absolutely amazing. So that's the other thing. Negative 3 palette. I can't say enough good things about this palette. I actually have it on today again. Um, this was out of the norm. But it's got all these wonderful, like, rose gold, like, shades. Um, I actually have Limit. Limit. Buzz, Liar, and Strange on my eyes today. Um, I will be doing a look, a tutorial on this look, possibly Saturday. Saturday or Sunday, I gotta think. But I love this palette. I actually only, I have the Naked 2, and then I have the Naked Basics, and I love this palette. I just, I love everything about this palette. Foundation I'm wearing today, this is the L'Oreal True Lip Match Lumi. Um, I am very oily skin, like I said, but in the wintertime, or at least this wintertime, um, I've been noticing that my face, like right down in this general area, have been getting very, very like dry, and it looks like almost patchy, so I was like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't wear, like, you know, a matte foundation, because that's just going to accentuate it. So I tried this. I know that I do like it because Jaclyn Hill talked about it and I got it and I wait, used way, 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 way too much and I look like an oily hot mess, but it is a very nice product. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I also have a True Match if you are very, very oily that you can get. I just, I use a little bit of this for all over my face and it's not too bad. Um, the NYX Matte Bronzer, this is in light. It's still really dark. Um, I use this in, I use that and something else. When it comes to that, I'll show you because I'm not doing this. My eyelash curler. This is the MAC Painterly Paint, or this is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Um, I use this to prime my eyes with. I've like made a little dent in it and I've had it for months. I use this just about every single day. This is the way that I use to prime my eyes. I used to use um, eye primers, but this works just as good in my opinion. And it's one less thing that I actually have to worry about squeezing a tube. Uh, the Minute Bit Pore Professionals. Um, I'm actually trying this out. I got it once before and I didn't like it. I thought it made me look really greasy, although I wasn't applying it. <coughs> Excuse me. The way you're supposed to, you're supposed to take this on your hand and pat it into your skin. I was taking it and just rubbing it all over my face. You don't do that. You pat it into your skin, especially where your pores are, because then it it sinks into your pores and covers up your pores. So I am trying this again. This is a little baby sample. Um, this is another foundation that I have been trying. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. Um, someone compared this to, I think Melps compared this to the NARS Radiant Glow 
Radiant Skin something NARS Radiant Foundation. Um, I've been trying this. I do like this. Um, this and this are like my winter foundations because they're they have more of a luminosity to them, not so much dry. But I do like both of those foundations, and I I can do a. This is my Bobbi Brown um, eyeshadow in camel it's a horrid color on screen but i'm telling you what you put it in your outer v and it looks beautiful it like just darkens up any eye look i've been using this um when i get to them i'll show you that too yeah we're just gonna do that today because i don't know this is a buxom blush in breathless i got this yesterday it's like a pretty see on camera it doesn't look nearly as pink as it does in person it looks really really pink in person and on camera it looks more of like a coral um i'll do a little swatch that's a swatch of it and there it is right there so it is a beautiful beautiful blush and it blends in very beautifully um it doesn't smell i have makeup sponges because I'm too cheap to buy the actual beauty blender and I have a blender that's supposed to be like a duplicate of the beauty blender um, Casey Holmes said it and I'm not liking it so I'm probably gonna go back to my brush because I like my brush better I have a Sigma blush in Sienna Serena I don't know it's that one right there um, this was in Nicole Guerrero's um, top things in um, 2013 is a really pretty blush. I have been wearing it. I do not have it on today. I have Boots Number Set Boots Number Seven Sweet Dampson on my face today, but I do like that one. Um, this is the Rimmel Match Perfect um, Concealer and Highlighter. This is in the Fair Light. This is what I use for my under eyes. Love this stuff. Cannot say enough good things about this stuff. Another uh, primer that I have is the NYX Shine Killer. Um, I don't use this right now because like I said it is very dry out. It's very dry and very windy out and all of it all it does is make my face look like it's a hot ashy mess. So I have not been using this but I do like it and I will repurchase it. Um, it's just a clear um, formulation. This is my new like favorite. This is Bobbi Brown. This is Toast. I have been using this in the crease of my eye been using Stila's Kitten, which is up there on my counter, and I don't want to grab it because it's falling apart as it is, um, on the lid of my eye, and then taking, aha, I can get it real quick, Wet n Wild Creme Brulee, and doing it as my crease color, this is Creme Brulee, as my crease color, and then taking that camel color and putting it in my outer V, it looks phenomenally gorgeous, love it, just love it, I do not have it on my eyes today, I have the Naked 3 palette on my eyes today, but these two Bobbi Brown shades have been like amazing. And then I do have this Bobbi Brown shade and this is in Champagne Quartz. It's pretty. It's just not as like shimmery as Stila's Kitten is. Stila's Kitten is by far one of the best eyeshadows ever. If you don't have it, you need to go test it and you need to buy it because it's amazing. You can use it as a highlighter. You can use it as a crease color. You can use it as an all over color. It's just, it's a beautiful color. I have these Rimmel Stay Matte. I have the matte foundation and I have the matte primer. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm going to try it in the summertime when I'm more oily because it made my face really ashy. I mean the coverage was really good on this but it made my face really look like it was ashy and I needed to put lotion on it and I don't like that. So it's a mm, product right now. I'm not sure. We'll try it in the winter or we'll try it in the summertime. I'm getting down here. This is the Lorac. Pro Mascara. This is the one with the humongous brush, like humongous brush. Um, I got this with the Lorac Pro Palette um, along with the eyeliner and eye primer. I think um, I have the eyeliner on today. I absolutely love it. Does not move, does not budge. It is kind of tricky to get in a straight line because it is like the pen form, and I'm not very good at that yet. I'm working on it. But I love this mascara. I do. It's just so dang expensive. You don't want to spend that money on it. Um, favorite BB cream. Garnier Fertise. It's in a Ziploc bag because it decides it wants to just disperse all over the place. So it's in a Ziploc bag. This is the other bronzer that I use. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. It smells like chocolate. 
and actually reminds me of those like okay i was born in the 80s so if anybody else like the 90s babies remember this or the 80s babies you remember those dolls that you had and you could turn them upside down and put a top on them and they'd be a cupcake and then you can make the cupcake with the dress i don't know if i'm the only person that remembers those but i remember them and that's what this smells like and I kept me major, major pan on it. See? It's a perfect little circle though. But it does smell like those dolls. And chocolate. But I use these together. I'm not using those today. Um, I will show you in my everyday makeup bag that I carry in my purse. This is my Katie Johnson one. I will show you what I have that I use on my face. I like to carry certain things with me just in case I need to touch up. But let's get through this real quick. Uh, Max Prep and Prime. Skin Revine Zone Treatment. I do use this with the Benefit Professional. I can get it up um, for all over my face. I pat both of these into the skin because this helps to keep with the oiliness and this helps with the, well, it helps if you don't drop it. It helps with the, um, the pores. So I use those. I have them both on my face today and I love how my makeup looks. This by far was my best, my favorite foundation of 2013. This was the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. This is in Fair, I believe. I'm almost out of this. This is why I'm not using it. But it's like, it's not going to come up. It's like a whipped mousse, like, consistency. You can't tell. But I love it. You just need to go to either Ulta or Sephora and try this out. Amazing. Amazing foundation. A blush. This is Angel. I'm not really a big fan of this blush. It makes me look really sickly. But I keep it in there anyway. Um, the eyeliner that I use to tightline my upper waterline is the Urban Decay 24 7 Gel Eyeliner in Zero. I have this big one and then I have a little one in here, which I'm about to show you, that I use just to tightline my upper waterline. Another NYX blush. This is in Pinched. I do like this one. It just has a little bit of shimmer in it, so I don't use it as often as I think I do. Um, the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. I've had this for ever. It seems like it just looks like that you under when I'm not doing like a full face of makeup, I'll use this and with along with the Garnier and it my skin looks flawless. Or if I'm not doing like a full like if I just put primer and then I put something else on my face, which I'll show you in just a second, um, I'll use this instead of the, because I can't see much of the gown. Instead of this one, I'll use this instead of this one, because this one's a little thicker. This one's more like full coverage. This one's like more everyday, like wear. Um, another nice all over crease color is this Jane One in Natural. This is a matte color. If I can get the dang thing out. Um, it's just a nice, like, add, like nice crease color. This is the Benefit Gimme Brows. This is in the medium deep. I probably should get the light, uh, light to medium, um, because I am trying to lighten my hair. Um, it was black for very long, and then I took some of the black out, and I made it red, and now it's kind of like whatever color it wants to be right now. Uh, I have not touched up my hair. I have gotten it cut, um, but... I have this one for my eyebrows. My pencil sharpener. And then the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. It's an absolute great mascara. Um, it's got an hour last one. I like to pair it with. Ooh, ooh I could try this with the extensions. Mm, it'd be so good. So, so good. But, that, yeah, but that's everything that's in my everyday makeup case. And then I'm going to show you what's in my travel makeup case. Now, this doesn't happen a lot. This is more, like, on-the-go type things. Um, this is the blush I have on today. This is the Sweet Damson one. God, this is hard to open even with nails. Oh, my goodness. This is the blush that I have on today. Um, I absolutely love it. I picked it up at my local Target. Not my local Target yesterday. Um, this is the little eyeliner that I use just in case I want to touch up. Uh, this is the, bron the bronzer that I've been using. This is the Hula bronzer. Um, I got this for Christmas. Um, it doesn't look like anything special, but I put it on and it just gives me that nice, like, tanned looking glow. Um, a brush that I use to apply different things throughout the day or to set some powder that I'm going to show you in just a second. 
that's probably going to be the last thing I show you. This is the Buxom uh, full on lip cream, I think. This is in white Russian. I got this in a little sample and I'm not out of it yet. I do have the bigger version. It smells like peppermint and it just is the nice, like a nice natural color. It's supposed to give like a lump, limp plumping technology, um, but I just love this. Sugar, fresh sugar lip treatment. I got this yesterday at Sephora. I love this stuff because it's so dry out right now anyway. You need a little bit of extra moisture. They do have colors of these. This is just the clear one. This is the Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. I actually like this one. I don't like the original. Um, like the first Baby Lips that they came out with, not the Doctor Rescue ones. I like the Doctor Rescue ones better than I do the original ones. This is a e.l.f. lip exfoliator. That's what it looks like. It just has like little beads. You take it and move it in circular motions and it gets all the names to get skin off your lips. This is a Mica. MICA Beauty. Um, I got this in an It's Be Bag, and this is a natural. It's a really pretty color, and I just have it in there. I just don't like pots like this. This is a Tarte uh, Glamazon Pure Performance 12 Hour Lipstick in Inspire. Love this color. Thank you, Nicole Guerrero, for once again getting me addicted to something. Just kidding. I love watching her, though. This is a Burt's Bees Nourishing Mango Butter Lip Balm. A bang bang because I cut my finger. This is L'Oreal Ferris Nude. This one was Champella XO. She got me next to it. This has literally been my this, this, and this has been my go-to lip combo for probably the past two months. It's horrible, horrible. This is the Sigma Lip Gloss in Hint. The Kroger I said this was amazing, and it is very, very beautiful. Thank you again. Thank you. And then, last but not leastly, 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 damn. I have these five little buxom. They were in a collection you could have gotten at Christmas. They had them at a Sephora that I went to yesterday for $22. And I got them. This one is in Mistress. Pretty baby pink. This one is in Provocateur. This is like a red, like the bam in your face red. This is Centerfold. I had this one on yesterday and I really liked it. It's like kind of like a nudie pink. And I'm not putting any on my lips right now. This is Menace. I actually had Menace in the next one I'm going to show you on my lips. I had Menace and Moonlighter on my lips today. Moonlighter is kind of like a duo chrome type thing. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And then, so if I'm not getting a lot of makeup, what I'll do is I'll moisturize my, I'll wash my face, moisturize it, and then I'll put this on my face, the, my primers, and then I'll put my anti-roll. But to set everything, I've been using the Professional Anti-Agent Shine, Agent Zero Shine. It's a powder. You take it and you tap it in the top of the lid, and you, like, press it all over your face oh my god this stuff has been like my holy grail for the since i got it. i got it at christmas and i've not stopped using it i probably need to get more listen Ooh, wrong side i probably need to get and it's got a built-in brush down here i just don't like the brush it's just i don't like anything about the brush but um this stuff has been like my holy grail i will be using this constantly it is 30 dollars at either sephora or ulta um depending on where you like to shop i shop wherever i am at the time and i need it um but that was all, I'm pretty sure. There's nothing in my purse that's makeup wise that I need to show you. I actually need to go through this stuff and figure out what I'm gonna take because I, me and my friend, my friend Katie and I are going to Fargats in April and I'm so excited and I'm trying to like get all these rules down of what I can and cannot take because I don't know what foundation I wanna use. I don't know, I just, it's a mess. So I will talk to you guys later and uh, if you have any videos that you want to see, just comment down below. Or if you have any, I know I need to do my daytime face routine. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I will try my best to do it tomorrow. It's just so hard because I get up in the morning, brush my teeth, and just wash my face, and my phone's still charging. So I will try to get up early enough to film my daytime, film my daytime routine tomorrow. I can't promise that I'll look awake. 
but I will promise I will try to do that tomorrow. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!